Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of Eugene Ong, Anthony Liu, Sister Margaret Mary Lai, Lucas Chin, for the souls in purgatory. We pray for the special intentions of Abdesh, Chen Yung Chung, and in thanksgiving, Ko Ki Kyung, Agnes Chong and family, Alice and Anthony, and Matthew Sia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. With faith and confidence, we come before this Eucharist, acknowledging our human weakness, and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that a pagan stew had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came to Jerusalem, the Jews criticized him and said, So you have been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them, have you? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, I fell into a trance as I was praying and a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheet reached the ground quite close to me. I watched it intently and saw all sorts of animals and wild beasts, everything possible that could walk, crawl, or fly. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now, Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And the second time, the voice spoke from heaven. What God has made clean you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. 
Just at that moment, three men stood outside, stopped outside the house where they were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me. And the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well, and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak with the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning. And I remembered that the Lord had said, John, baptize with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical thing he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? This account satisfied them, and they gave glory to God. God, they said, can evidently grant even the pagans the repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. My soul, my soul is, is thirsting, thirsting for God, God the, God the God of, of my life. life. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul, my soul is thirsting for God, God the God, God of, of my life. life. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When, I can en when, when can I enter and see the face of God? My soul, my soul is thirsting, thirsting for God, God the, the God, God of my life. life. O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you in the heart, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and my own know me Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hears the voice. One by one, he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow, because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from them. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands. But the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. 
he will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I've come so that you may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We begin this week with the words of the Good Shepherd, the words of the voice of the Shepherd, which will ring throughout this week, and we'll always find ourselves at the gate. Jesus uses the word today, I am the gate, the gatekeeper. You know, when you look around us today, in all honesty, when you look around us, there's a growing culture of gated community. Everyone lives in a gated community today. They feel so safe, they feel so secure, just living behind a gated community. Because there's only one point of access to enter into it. And to get into that, to get into that gated community, you're either inside or you're outside. You feel safe, you feel secure. The whole issue here is about the security at the, at the point of entrance. You need either a tag or a coat to get into it, the accessibility to get into that community. Even if you're a member of the family, you're either a guest or a visitor to get into that community. And Jesus tells us today, I am the gatekeeper. But this gatekeeper is not a closed gate, it's an open gate concept. Everyone is stepping into that gate. And there's no such thing as a closed culture to this gate. You see this so beautifully in the first reading today, you know. If you have a moment, I would like to invite you to read Acts chapter 10 and Acts chapter 11 today. It's a story of Cornelius, who's going through this experience. Cornelius the centurion, who wants Peter to come to his house. And he has this vision in Acts 10 to go out and get Peter into his house. And Cornelius is a Gentile, a pagan an uncircumcised and unclean person who is outside the gate. And he sends a message to Peter. And Peter is on the other side in Joppa. And he has a vision to go to Cornelius, to that gate. Unclean food. To reach out to the uncircumcised. Sometimes in our lives, my dear friends, in our ministries, we all put gates around us. We all have gates. Father, they don't belong to our parish. They are not from the BC, Father. They are not baptized yet, Father. They are divorced, Father. Oh my God, the list will go on. We all have gates in many ways. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice, Jesus tells us. It's about opening that gate and reaching out there's a beautiful story in Luke chapter 16. Luke chapter 16, verse 19. The rich man and Lazarus at the gate. And the rich man couldn't see Lazarus at the gate. And Jesus said yesterday and says today, there are many out there who are not of this fold, but they listen to my voice and they are drawn into it. Sometimes what we need to do is a word of encouragement. A word of invitation, a word of reaching out to this flock. Because you and I have listened to that voice, and some of them have not listened to that voice. And we need to draw them because they are, as the responsible psalm said, a soul thirsting for God. A soul thirsting for God. We need to bring that words of encouragement. We need to bring that mercy to them. And we need to bring that love. Because ultimately, Jesus tells us, I have come that you may have life and life to the fullness. John 10.10 10. I have come that you may have life and life to the fullness.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your, at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the, and the good, good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and worship you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, with Saints Faustina, John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Take that moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Pray for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, Father, source of healing, cast the, the light of health, health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless, bless them, protect, protect them, them and bring, bring them speedily to full recovery. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old, God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.